Welcome to the land of Racy, where nothing is fair and love and hair. Welcome back to the Lakes of Reese Season 2 Reunion Part 3. <laughs> this season, Becky, you fell in love with the producer who you are currently engaged to right now. But you have to give the credit to your mom because if it wasn't for her, would you guys really be together? Oh my God, like I would never admit that. Like, we originally, like, met in the studio, so if, like, it was meant to be, it would be. Well, as they say, Mama knows best. Let's recap to see how Becky and the producer met. Ooh, you're surprised. Just a rock. What are you doing here? I didn't invite you here, did I? What up, Shanae? Becky, Mom invited me here. <laughs> But you need to know what a real man looks like, and I heard you talk about him one time. I need a drink! You mind if I join you? Um, um, yeah, like, yeah, like, oh my god, yeah, yeah. Where are you going? I hope it's a date night with Mr. Producer. I am meeting Mr. Producer. We had a nice time at the Christmas party, but like, I'm not going to tell her that. No. Don't act like you don't hear me talking to you. Oh my God, Mom, like I'm going out to meet the girls. Looking like that. Hmm. Oh my God, like, didn't you like teach me how to be badass? Like, no matter where it is, like, I go. Thanks, Mom. What's up, Shorty? <laughs> oh my God, like, he's like a bad boy fantasy. <sighs> I'm definitely gonna bone him tonight. <laughs> so I was like thinking, like, we could go like to Central Park and get to know each other. Oh my God, you're like a gangster romantic. Like, let's go do it. Like, let me go grab my coat. It seems like your mother would do anything to keep you and Ricky apart. <laughs> like, oh my God, yeah. Like, but that was a Brenda thing. Brenda liked Ricky. I didn't like Ricky. <laughs> of course. Well, on that note, let's bring out Becky's mom and Wiggy the community plastic. <laughs> Did I really have to come and sit next to that? word bro like let me tell you something that made your daughter come every single time <laughs> why would you like throw a dildo at my mom Ricky? that's disrespectful that's disrespectful it's disrespectful Bro, like, check your mom, son, because she's the one who's mad disrespectful. Bro, I'm not even doing shit. Becky, like, relax because you're having a baby. Oh. Hey, what? Becky. Becky, we about to have a baby. We about to have a baby. Oh my God, Mom. I wanted to surprise you, Boo Bear. Wow. Are we about to have a little Wigs of Reese running around? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, moving on to Wiggy. Wiggy, Wiggy. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Wiggy is definitely the definition of community plastic, but I think we might be forgetting toxic. Okay, let's see just how toxic Wiggy has been this season. Yo, I tried to reach out to Lulu a few times, you know what I'm saying? And she didn't answer my phone call. If she do answer my call, like she want to argue me down. So I'm like, you know, if I get, yo, now my sneaky link ain't my sneaky link no more. I fucked up, bro. What's new, Wiggy? Seriously, what's new? Bro, like I might have pushed it too far. Of course you did. What did you do this time? I might have rushed her to the bathroom, fucked her, told her I got what I wanted, that she was like a fucking slut like the rest of them. She didn't come here to see me. She came here to fix shit with you. Bro, did you really? Did you really? Get the fuck out of here. Yo, chill. Bro, you're gonna have to talk to me eventually. And the next time I see you, it's on sight. Oh my god. Dirty Wiggy just walked in. What are you doing? Bro, what you're not gonna do is sit here and call me dirty after you just fucked me right before you got engaged. That's what you're not gonna do, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, if I can't fix the mess Wiggy just caused between me and my fiance, I promise you, like Wiggy, you are so fired. <sighs> Wiggy forced herself into my car and then refused to get out. Wait, what? Wiggy, you know what? I can't with you two. Nope. Where are you going? Sinead, this is serious. I was forced to do something I didn't want to do. Can you report that? Bruh, I didn't force her. I didn't put a fucking gun to her head and tell her to do what I said. Like, I might not have gotten out of the car, bruh, but I ain't force her. Bro, I don't care what y'all say. I'm not toxic. I just gave the same energy that most of these bitches on here gave. Yeah, right. Shut your confused ass up, son. Like, one minute you're with pussy and next minute you're a dick. Well... You should actually try the D. Something tells me you might like it. Bro, son, don't even play with me like that. Like, on some real talk, but don't even play with me. Okay, okay, guys. Let's just calm down a little bit. Wiggy, come on, come on, have a seat. Have a seat. What's your relationship status right now? Bro, like... My heart belongs to one person, and like, I pray she takes me back. With that being said, tune in to part four, because we're bringing the face of the brand out. Welcome back to the Wigs of Reese Season 2 Reunion Part 4, and joining us today is Lulu. <laughs> Okay, Lulu, so you heard everything that Wiggy said backstage. What are your thoughts on this? Well... Oh, well, Reese, <laughs> the world already knows that I am labeled the fool in love. <laughs> Let's recap on just how much of a fool Lulu was this season. Yo. Call me toxic or whatever, but when Lulu's turned the fuck up like that, that shit turns me on. Like, Amoya didn't have to come to me to tell me to go bang her, bro. Like, I was gonna bang her already, son. Like, she know what's happening. I don't care how mad she is. She can't resist the kid. <sighs> shit, Wiggy, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, we're, we're not doing this. Get out. <laughs> Bro, you, you already know what time it is. Just just cut the shit and stop playing. No. No. Oh, God. <sighs> Listen. 
Mickey, nothing happened between me and your sister. I need you to know that despite how it looked, nothing happened. You ain't got to explain shit to me, bro. I got what I wanted. I'm out. Mickey, you don't mean that. Why are you doing this? And I thought you were special. You for everybody like the rest of these hoes. Bro, y'all being wild disrespectful. Because like I'm over here trying to get my lady back and this is the videos that you guys are showing her son. Like, come on. Wiggy, if you haven't noticed, the whole world is against me going back to you. Man, fuck them, bro. Like, I'm telling you, this is going to be different, I swear. Do you remember this? Lulu, oh, you better not. Shanae, bro, please stay out of it, son. Deborah, you look like you're thinking something. What you thinking over there? I mean, I'm in no position to, like, judge anyone, judging my situation. What I can say in regards to the situation is that although Wiggy may have done a lot of stupid stuff, what I can say is that she definitely loves Lulu. For a fact. See, bro? That's my fucking hit up. I cannot fucking believe you right now. What? I did stay out of it. I'm just being honest. Okay, that's it. I didn't. I don't care if you was being honest. You know that Wiki is no good for her. I can't save this for after the reunion because I'm telling you, if you blow my high, it's gonna be a problem. Guys, stop, stop. Okay. At the end of the day, it is my choice and my decision. And as bad as I would like to feel the way you guys feel towards her, I don't. My heart does what it wants okay and i still love her and it's my choice and my decision why are you being so fucking stupid you know what i am stupid when it comes to you because i still don't know if you fucked with me really lulu then shut the fuck up well i know for a fact that she fucked with me. Oh!